everyone today we are going to be making a cup cozy um, I'm just gonna be making a plain design and then if you want to watch my other videos I'm going to show how to make appliques that you can design your uh, cup cozy with uh, this cup cozy will fit around a travel mug similar to this one and actually this one already has one of these rubber things on it but um, mine's gonna cover this uh, over the top so um, I just have a really cool idea for Valentine's Day that I want to use with this cup cozy, or with this cup that I want to make a cup cozy for. So let's just get started right away. The supplies you will need uh, is an H size hook, which is five millimeters, and then um, today I'm going to be using Red Heart yarn in a polyester material, but I do have uh, cup cozies that I make in this peaches and cream. Uh, cotton, which is really nice, which is a medium size 4 yarn. Uh, this one is called a crew, which I really like this color. I have like 10 skeins of this color because <laughs> I love it so much. But um, I'm just going to use white today in the polyester material. And you can use whatever color you want, uh, but I am going to be making mine plain white. So what we need to do first uh, I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to leave a long tail because I'm going to be using it for sewing later on. So make your slip knot. If you're unsure on how to make a slip knot, there are other video tutorials to show how to do that. So to start our cup cozy out, this is actually very simple. I mean, ridiculously simple. So uh, I'm going to start out by making a foundation half double crochet. Uh, row which you can either do that or you can you know follow my directions or you can do a chain of uh, 25 and then do half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and across uh, to do that but I'm gonna do the foundation half double crochet which is this so first yarn over and chain up two okay then we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the first chain, so the second chain from the hook. We're going to go inside of there and then yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through only one loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's our first half double crochet on our foundation row. So we need to make 24 of these. So to do the second one, I kind of turn my work to go vertically like this because we are going to work through these bottom loops. I'm not sure if you can see them right here, like so. So we are going to work through this hole right here and there's two loops here. So we are going to yarn over, go into those bottom, loops right there, yarn over and pull through there, then yarn over and pull through one, and yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. There's our second half double crochet foundation right there. Okay, our another one, yarn over, go into those bottom loops of that last stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three, oh I'm sorry, pull through just one. <laughs> to make that bottom chain and then pull yarn over and pull through all three okay so I'll do that again just so you can see Right. So make sure you do that. Uh, so you have 24 of these. So one, two, three, four, five, five right now. So I have to make 19 more. So I'm going to do that and I'll meet you back up when I have my 24 half double crochet foundation row. All right, so I did my uh, foundation row here. So what you need to do now is bring the beginning to uh, a circle here like so make sure not to twist your foundation row and then we are going to slip stitch to the first stitch of that round 
okay so it's going to make a circle and just slip stitch is just going into that stitch yarn over pull through and pull through okay now that first uh, when I did that slip knot in the beginning I have this really long uh, strand here because I'm going to be sewing it to this first stitch on this side because there's it looks open right now like that so once I sew that together it's just going to be nice and straight line right there and a clean edge so moving on to round number two and actually for the rest of the rounds which you just need to do uh, in this project we are going to have ten rounds of half double crochets so just chain up one now this chain up one does not count as a stitch it just gets us to the height we need so then yarn over and go right into that same stitch that we chained up one in since that does not count as a stitch we have to go into that stitch so yarn over go into that stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook that's a half double crochet okay so do that all the way around like so and for the next round and the rest of the rounds we just yarn over or I mean do a half double crochet in each uh, stitch around and once you get back to the beginning we're gonna slip stitch to the uh, beginning stitch that we made on that round and then chain up one and continue doing a half double crochet all the way around this is seriously so easy such a simple idea and such a simple project and it's a cute you know last minute project idea you know for a gift or something if you want to get one of those travel mugs like I showed in the beginning and uh, make a cup cozy for that and you can use you know different colored yarn you can make uh, you can use variegated yarn or you can use uh, you know just a plain color yarn and design it with appliques which I am actually going to be making videos of those so you can see my other videos and see uh, you know how to make designs hearts and a mustache and things like that so also you know make sure you you join our Facebook uh, so you can see all of my crochet videos and be sure to subscribe to my channel because uh, you'll get updates then when I make a new video so oh, here is the end of the round on round number two so I'm just gonna slip stitch the very first stitch of that round slip stitch and then chain one and then just continue doing one half double crochet again and again we're gonna do this for ten rounds okay so you're gonna do this for uh, ten rounds and then we are going to fasten off and don't worry about it looking you know too small around this will stretch I mean look at how stretchy that is so that is going to stretch around your cup pretty nicely so it may look a little small right now but like I said it's going to stretch so um, yeah so just keep doing this half double crochet rounds all the way up until you get hit round number 10 and I will show you uh, when we're about to finish. Alright, so I ended up just doing nine rounds. I think this, this is uh, lo long enough or, or wide enough for uh, my hand. Um, if you want to, you know, measure how your hand will fit around it just by putting your fingers around it and seeing if that's good enough coverage for when you're holding your mug. Uh, if you need to go, you know, ten rounds, that's fine too. Um, but I'm just going to fasten off at nine rounds and then all you just need to do is do a slip stitch to the first uh, stitch of that round and then what I do to fasten off is just chain one cut my yarn and pull that all the way through and that secures it and then you can tie that in but there you have it you know you can barely see the seam there too so that's really nice when we chained up one um, you know that I mean if you can see it then just make sure that's at the back of your cup <laughs> so nobody can see that I'll t tie my end in later off camera but essentially here is your cup cozy so you can you know put your cup inside of here and like I said this is very stretchy so it should fit um, around your cup 
It may take a little bit of effort, so make sure that your cup is empty before you put the cozy on it. And this cup cozy, or this cup has a grippy thing, so it's kind of difficult to pull this on. There you go. So you get the idea. You can see the red through the stitches, but essentially there you have your nice cup cozy. So obviously mine's super plain and just white. Um, I plan on, you know, obviously embellishing it with some uh, appliques, but you can decorate yours. You can, like I said, you can make use variegated yarn or just make a plain one like this and enjoy a cup of joe. And uh, be sure though to watch my other videos on how to make uh, appliques. I'm going to show how to make a heart. So for Valentine's Day, you can, you know, give this as a, a really good gift actually. Uh, you can put this around a nice travel mug and put something inside like hot cocoa or chocolates. So just be sure to watch my other video and uh, we'll start that pretty soon. So thank you so much for watching how to make this uh, super easy cup cozy. This is a beginner pattern. So be sure though, again, like I said, to subscribe to my channel and be sure to check out our Facebook where you can see all my crochet videos. Uh, but thanks for watching. Happy hooking!